How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks and welcome to Mega Man and Base for, uh, I guess, this one for the Super Famicom. Uh, this was originally released in Japan as Rockman and Forte. Uh, a lot of people in America, we just ended up calling it Mega Man 8.5 for the longest time and then it got released on the Game Boy Advance of all things uh, as Mega Man and Base. This is uh, the Japanese version with an English patch, so we will be able to see it in English, but I'm playing it in in on the Japanese version because the Super NES or the Super Famicom or whatever had a lot more screen real estate than the Game Boy Advance. It's just barely playable in the Game Boy Advance. It's much more user friendly on on the Super NES. Uh, you can play as Mega Man, but you can also play as Base. It's the first time you can play as Base, and it's the first main Mega Man game where you can play as as someone other than Mega Man. You could even play as Proto Man up to this point. And uh, we're gonna play as Base in this playthrough because we've seen Mega Man a hundred million times, but we've only seen Base once. We've played him. Uh, I think we played him during Mega Man 10 a few years back. So let's play as base. Base has a dash, a double jump, and he can shoot anywhere. It's really kind of interesting. He plays very differently from, uh, from Mega Man. He has his different little graphics and everything. But yeah, he can double jump, he can dash, and he can shoot rapidly in any direction. He cannot charge up, though, which is interesting. Uh, it makes him slightly weaker than Mega Man because of that, because he has no charge, uh, charge up. This is, I'll be honest, a really weird Mega Man game. Uh, it's very different from most Mega Man games, the main Mega Man games. Uh, you'll see when we get to the, um, uh, the, 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 the Robot Master kind of selection screen, it is very different. But obviously it's just different because, like, why is this not Mega Man 9? It should have been called that. Uh, it was also weird that it never came out in North America uh, until the Game Boy Advance re-release. Very, very different. Don't know, really know why they did that, but whatever. We have our little introductory straight stage, which uh, ever since X was pretty much just a thing at this point, they just kind of kept doing it. But they didn't do it through um, 9, 10, or 11. I don't know why. T I guess why 9 and 10 didn't do it, but I don't know why 11 didn't do it. Um, also, a weird little thing, when you get health up, it doesn't pause the... I like that. It doesn't pause the screen. It doesn't go... And pause it for a bit. You should just get it. I like that a lot, actually. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not a super fondly remembered game and uh it's got a lot of balancing problems and a bunch of other things but it's definitely not a bad game you'll notice it's gorgeous this is a super nintendo game and it is using the playstation uh graphics which is really really impressive because it doesn't really feel like it, it like the super nes isn't slowing down it runs perfectly fine it's it's really impressive uh, so that's kind of cool we have these just really really high res characters on the Super NES. They look great too. They animate super smoothly. And Mega Man is the exact same sprites for Mega Man 8. It's very cool. And I think that's probably why it runs so poorly on the Game Boy Advance. Actually, sorry, it doesn't run poorly. It runs fine. But because the screen is so closed in, and especially if you're base and you're trying to dash, like you, can, you can't even keep up what's on the screen. It, there's just not a lot of, of screen on the Game Boy Advance. That was just a poor decision, I think. I'm disappointed ah, that they didn't put this game in any of the collections, uh, which is really dumb, especially the Mega Man Legacy Collection. That's the thing about collections. It's like, if you're gonna not put all the games really the collection, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, that's, that's a little thing for me. Uh, it, it's like how they didn't put Galaxy 2 on the Mario 3D All-Stars or whatever. But yeah, you did Mega Man 1 through 6 and then 7 through 10, but you didn't do this one, so. Uh, Proto Man! I don't know what Bass's voice would be, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the Mega Man 8 voices, those are terrible. That's far enough, King. First Dr. Wily's lab, now the museum. And this is King, our actual boss in, in this game. It's not Dr. Wily for once. Uh, I've now obtained all the blueprints on you combat robots. With this data, I can assemble an invincible mechanoid army. Since you're a robot, you can join me if you want. Huh? Looks like some other little wannabe has come to try to stop me, eh? I guess I'll just leave you two to my underlings. You ain't going anywhere, King. Enough, you annoying little pest. And smack, and I guess that's why Proto Man's not in this game. That's playable, because damn, son. So that's King, huh? Well, there's only room for one strongest in this world, and that's me. Nobody will stand in the way of uh, my way of the forging of my lead. Da, da, da. Nobody will stand in the way of me learning the English language and the forging of my legend as the most powerful being in the world. All right, Shadow the Hedgehog. At least he's doing something in this game. <laughs> it would be simple to kill you right here and now, but I am afraid I must see to assembling uh, my great king, a uh, great king army. 
I shall let my green devil take care of you. This is a fan translation. It's not the exact uh, translation that they used the Game Boy Advance, but it works. It's also funny that the green devil's here when this was actually a, um, a Dr. Wily boss in Mega Man 8. Now it's just like a non-animating <laughs> boss in this game. But, I mean, oh damn, that's a dumb thing. Whatever. It's the intro boss. I'll just stand here. So, um, because you can't charge up, bosses start off very difficult with base. Uh, it's, it's like the Mega Man and Zero thing in the X games. X is better at the bosses, while Zero is just better at the, um, at the stages. And, and base is better at the stages. Let's save. Might as well save. Why can't I save? There we go. Why would you use Y as the accept button? That's so weird. So yeah, here's the stage select. You only get a choice of three robot masters, which is just, it's super weird. And then um, if I do this guy down here, I'll lock the three at the bottom. Here I'll unlock the three in the middle, and there I'll unlock the three at the top. It's it's very different for a Mega Man game. You get your little shop, which is of course um, auto, because of course it is. Um, I'm, it's power parts just for you, base. I don't know why I'm helping base out, but blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't want that, no. Uh, what do we got anyways? We got uh, one up. Energy balancer, yeah, the exit. Oh yeah, you can't exit in this game without the exit part. Uh, shock guard, which will probably, probably need, don't mind me. Uh, why don't you try and see if to contact a roll? It's been a long since I've played this game. I don't need a, a gamble. <laughs> Gambal. Continue life energy at various spots of the stage you visit. One shot only. No, I'm good. I need nothing. No, 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 no. Oh, only 10 uh, for the shock guard is pretty good. Yes, that's all we want. No, 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 no. Let me out. Thank you. And what do we got with, um, oh, it's the database. So, like it said, uh, like King said, King has taken all the, the information and blueprints for all the combat robots, and you actually can find them. It's it's a secondary kind of goal. Right now, we don't have any. Hurry up, let's find them. Sorry, Dr. Light. Jeez, you're so angry. And there are, jeez, how many? Probably 100, exactly. Yeah, 100, exactly. Uh, there are CDs strewn about all the levels, and, um... Getting them will unlock a little database on, a little entry on, on one of the Robot Masters. You do like Mega Man, you like Cut Man and Bomb Man from Mega Man 1 and Flash Man and Quick Man from the other Mega Man games. It's a fun little side quest. When I play this game for myself, I usually do it. We won't be doing this because it requires you to beat the game uh, twice, once with Mega Man and once with base, and then going back into a lot of stages as Mega Man again with Rush Search. Uh, so we're not going to do that, but if I see them, I, I'll point them out and we'll talk about them. And, yeah, I'll, I'll get a couple, obviously. So here we go, we got Cold Man. So when I first played this game, this is before it was uh, released in North America. Um, me and my buddy Derek were big in emulation. We were just downloading a ton of ROMs because we wanted to find out all these games we'd never heard of. And I saw Mega Man and Base, or Rockman and Forte, and I think back then I was like, oh, I know Mega, uh, Mega Man's name in Japan is Rockman, so that, that must be a Mega Man game. And we thought this was like a fan-made thing or something. We weren't sure. We didn't think it was official uh, because like, we had never heard of it. It, wasn't, it didn't come up with the Super Nintendo. Uh, and it was like released in like 98 or something. Like that's really late. Uh, so we were just, we, we thought it was it was not a real Mega Man game. It wasn't until, uh, I think it was getting released on the Game Boy Advance where I actually believed it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually a real thing. So here we go. Here's our first uh, CD we can get here. I'm just gonna probably die actually. <laughs> no, guess not, guess I'm fine. I kind of want to get hit for the invincibility because I'm getting hit by those spikes and die. There we go. So when we go back to the um, stage select, we'll be able to see which robot master we got. Here's another one. For example, I can't get that because I can't get past the uh, ice. It's a fun idea. I actually really do it, like doing it. Um, it's just it's not fun to watch because you can't get them all in one go. So we'd have to come back here with an explosive weapon to blow up that ice, that sort of thing. And that's just not super fun to kind of watch someone do. It's like me when, when I'm always debating whether I want to do the, the Metroid 100%. It just depends on how much backtracking I'm going to have to do, if it's going to be fun or not. And this one's not particularly fun. Uh, one thing with base as well is, I can use that, is uh, base can't slide. You can dash, but you can't fit under the slide um, thing. So I can't get this one, for example. Perfect example. There you go. Can't get it. So uh, there are a couple that you can only get as base, I think, but most of them are available from Mega Man. Damn. Because uh, Mega Man obviously can fit through different places. Uh, has Rush uh, Coil, I believe, in this game. So I'd be able to get... Um, actually, does he have Rush Coil in this game? I don't think he does. So I might actually might not be able to get things without um, Base's double jump. Though um, the weapon I'm going to get from Cold Man is, is kind of a, a boosted jump in a way. Be really careful doing really bad. Like, come here. Coming. Yep. Ah, damn it. Come on, Phil. And... Um, he also gets Rush Search, 
and um, that's something that base doesn't get. And there are uh, hidden, so I can't get I can't get this one for example because I can't slide into this area. Uh, but yeah, rush search is the only way to get a few of them. So Mega Man's probably the better way if you want to get most of them in one go. But you do need to beat the game with both characters if you want to get everything. So. Which I think is fine. I think that makes sense. It gives you a reason to go through both. Um, oh jeez. Uh, it makes the characters very different, and, and I, I like that. I like unlockables. I like stuff like that a lot. So, please, someone drop something. I'm so dead. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. Uh, which way should I go? Uh, actually, ooh. <sighs> yeah, I'm sad, but I'm screwed. Where do I start, though? Where do I start? Oh, good. That's actually perfect. That's fine, my man. Actually, I think I gotta fight the guy again, don't I? No, I don't. Nice. That's actually really, really perfect. Pay a little bit more attention, please, Phil. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's not super well regarded. Uh, like I said, it's got balance difficulty, or uh, sorry, balance issues. Um, can I fall down there? I feel like I can fall down there. Why well, don't take a chance? Let's take a chance, guys. Yep, nice. Because there wasn't any spikes, right? So I was like, yeah, let's try that out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm still gonna collect them if they're there. I'm not gonna avoid them for, for no reason, right? It's still fun collectibles, I guess. I like the idea. What up? Thank you. Um, but yeah, especially near the end of the game, uh, I find this to be a very... Oh, that's what it would have done. Okay. I find this to be a very difficult Mega Man game when you get to the the last areas. It's also fairly short. Um, I think there's only three... Um, I call them Dr. Y levels, but they're king levels in this game. Uh, I just automatically... I always say Dr. I even call the Sigma levels Dr. Y levels. Um, but yeah, the king levels... Uh, there's only three, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, uh, here we go. No. So bad timing. No! Careful. <laughs> Thankfully, I got that double jump, or else Mega Man would have just died there. There we go. I don't... Oh, wait. I don't even need to ride these things. I've got the double jump. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Yeah, the ability to... Um, to shoot side... Or, like, sorry, diagonally and all that is, is really good. It's really a great thing. And here we go. Here's Cold Man. Who I think might be easier with um, base just because of my multi-directional shots. He's gonna be going invincible in a second. And shoot off a cloud. Oh boy, he's not gonna do it. That's fine by me. I can't do much damage, but I mean, this is a really easy fight so far because he's not doing. Oh jeez. Hello. Oh, ooh, he's doing more things. Um, yeah, he can shoot a like cloud, uh, which will really hinder your movement options, which is really frustrating. But he's not doing it for some reason. Maybe he has to be like halfway through his life first before he'll do it. I'm not sure. But whatever, we're taking him out. I don't think there's... Uh, oh, there we go. So you definitely want to take that out because that will... It won't hurt you physically, uh, but it just it means you can't jump very well. And with Mega Man, it's harder to take it out. Uh, though one, I think one charge shot's enough. It's pretty easy now. Um, I don't think there's energy tanks in this game now that I think about it. I'm actually not 100% sure on that. Like I said, I don't play this, game, this one very often. Out of all the main Mega Man games, uh, this one... I guess Mega Man 11 because it's the newest one. Are the ones I've played the least. I've only played through Mega Man 11 twice, um, which is weird for me, because I've played, I've played through the Mega Man games super often. Oh, you're almost dead, Cold Man Hurt Up. It's also only, it's got an only okay soundtrack. There's a couple of good songs, but it's a, it's, it's a weaker Mega Man game. But I wanted to play it before we move on to the less than great Mega Man X games, which are, which is going to be next. Uh, there's also something else I, I want. I might be doing it this year. It depends on its release. Uh, we'll talk about that after we get our weapon. I love this. That's really cool how how base gets his weapons. Very, very fun and interesting. Very, very base. Like a show off of power where he just fires off into the air. There we go. We got light blue. And it's only the um, trim for him. He's still just black and gray for the most part. You got Ice Wall. I do. I love when it shows you the ability, but it's just like Cold Man's. You push it, and you can actually climb on top of it. It's actually a really neat one. And uh, speedrunners use it to glitch through friggin' everything. It's hilarious. So saved, hooray! And next up, okay. So we've unlocked Pirate Man and Burner Man, and we're gonna do Burner Man because that is the next um, weakness. It's a very weird setup, like I said, but it's unique. I'll totally say it's unique. Burner Man looks so weird. Friggin' like propane tanks or like NOS or something like on the side on his arm. He's an interesting design. Uh, weirdly enough, this is actually the only main Mega Man game that... Oh, I do like this movie. This is probably my favorite song in the game. Or at least one of them. Um, 
it reuses Robot Masters, uh, which we'll see probably next episode. Um, it's Astro Man and... Oh, geez, who else? Is it Tengu Man? Yeah, I think it's Tengu Man, who also... Um, uh, he gets... They get recycled from other Mega Man games, which is really weird. That, like, never, uh, I'm just go right by you there, Cyber Joe. It's really weird that they do that, because I think it's the only Mega Man that does it. Can I give you your toe? There we go. But yeah, okay, so the other Mega Man game I might or might not do this year depends on the um, success of the fan project. Ooh, one last thing. Base cannot shoot through walls, Mega Man can. Um, so there is a bunch of guys who are making a fan sequel to Mega Man The Wily Wars for the Sega Genesis. Anyone remembers that? The Wily Wars was like Mario All-Stars, but for Mega Man, uh, where it was Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 uh, for the Nintendo, re-released, redone with graphics and music for the uh, for the Sega Genesis. Uh, it's one of the very first games I've ever played on this channel. I've actually never done the NES versions of 1, 2, and 3, though I probably will one day anyways. Uh, but I, I did the Genesis versions instead. Thank uh, back then, when I first did it, that was not a really well-known thing. Now it's been it's been redone forever. Limited Run Games did a physical copy of it. It's available on like the Sega Genesis Mini. Um, it's just it's just something you can see everywhere. Uh, Capcom and Sega really kind of jumped on that popularity, which was very smart. How much life do you have? Oh my god, nothing. Thank you. Um, so anyway, they're making a sequel to that from the ground up. It's not using the Wily Wars ROM. It's straight up from the ground up. And it's uh, called Mega Man The Sequel Wars. And it will be 4, 5, and 6 in the Sega Genesis style. Um, not only is it redone completely for the ground up, it's an actual Genesis ROM. So according to them, it should work in an actual Genesis, which I think is really cool. Um, but not only are they just doing... Um, oh yeah, we'll get this with our Super Jump. There we go. Uh, not only are they just kind of redoing 4, 5, and 6 with um, Genesis graphics, they're doing a kind of Mega Man Power Up style bonus version as well that you can play, uh, which remixes uh, the games as well, which is really cool. I can't... I, I need a, I need a friggin' spike guard or whatever to get that, so I'm not doing that. And you can go keep going to the left and look like, too. Damn, I wish I'd thought of that. Whatever, we're not getting everything anyways. Um, but yeah, so... According to them, they're trying to aim for the first uh, installment, which is Mega Man 4, uh, to be done by the end of this year. I played the demo, which was just Toad Man, uh, and it was awesome. It, oh, and I think, I think Skull Man as well. It's so well done. It's so well done. I really do want to play it. So as soon as that's done, I'm going to play it on the channel uh, and, and do them each. So I'm not going to wait till they're all done. I'll just do four, and then I'll do five when it's done, and, and so on. Uh, what I love is that they're calling it, like, different things. So Mega Man 4 is actually kind of called Mega Man Episode Red. And with all the, like, the Russia-USSR kind of connotations of Mega Man 4, I think it's so perfect. Uh, check it out if you haven't already. Check out the demo. Uh, it's super good. It looks just incredible. Uh, but I'll be doing that this year if, if they're done, the, like, on time, like, they, they hoping, they're hoping that it will be. So, uh, let's pause. Do I have... I just want to see if I do have an energy tank. Yeah, maybe you can get energy tanks in this game. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter, I guess. I hate these things. Careful. Ah, shit. Uh, I don't like it. Okay. Nice, we're doing okay. Oh, uh, just like Zero and his, and his double jumps or whatever, when you get them, the swins on or whatever it's called in, in the X games, uh, you can either double jump or you can dash and jump. You can't do both. Uh, which I think is, is a fair thing. It's, it, Mega Man X is pretty much the same way in terms of you can't dash in mid-air uh, if you're already dashing, unless you do, like, the special suits and stuff like that. Yeah, shit. Oh, I have to go through you. You know what? Ah, sh oh, I'm just gonna go through you, because you have a lot of HP. Ah, damn! Ah, that's a good one for... That's a base-only one. Ah, this is the Mega Man-only one while I don't have the abilities anyways. Damn. We have five of them already. See how many we'll get through just a very, very plain... Playthrough. Oh, careful here, this fire will kill you in a single shot, so be very careful. It's just spikes, basically. Oh god. Uh, yeah, that, that was bad on my part. I'm getting one-ups like crazy, though, so we should be fine. Should be fine. Plus, I think we get another chance to get that one um, CD, so that's pretty cool. Away from me. Ooh, another one-up, so we are we're gonna be fine. I'm just gonna run right by it. Nope, did not make that. That took so much damage off of me. Let's see if I can get some life. Please? Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's good enough for me. Oh, God. I need to get in there without getting hit, though. Okay, let's try to get this. Eee! Yeah! Oh, there's another one there. Nice. Um, let's see if we can do this better. 
I might have to maybe hit a few times to kind of get to where I need to be without dying. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage! Oh, slowly, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. We're doing okay now. I might want to ride on you, though. No, come on. Just do it faster. No, that didn't help. Oh, God. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Whew. Yeah, definitely not fun. Well, the death. The game is fun. Oh, my God, it's so much damage. Please give me health. Please give me health, man. If I can get to Burner Man, then I don't care if I die. Oh, good. Oh, jeez. I don't even know what this is. Oh, thank god. Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna die with Burner Man. Let's try to take him out with our normal shot. Uh, I do like how he has spikes on the, on the side. You don't see a lot of Robot Masters with, like, things in their their, their rooms, basically. Like, obstacles. Uh, this is kind of a cool idea, though, because um, Burner Man's not particularly weak to Ice Wall. It's the spikes themselves. You'll see what I mean. First of all, I don't think you can hurt him when he's running around like that, or at least with the ice wall. Just do this, and you push him into the spikes. I'm like, that's a great idea. I really like that. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, there we go. We should be fine. We'll be all right. Oh, yeah, he does not take damage to that. Perfect. And nope, nope, nope. This will guard him against that, though. Oh, he'll still be dead. Okay, yeah, there we go. I like how it actually like suppresses the fire. That's really cool. I'm hoping to see a lot of good stuff from this game. Because like, again, this is one of my lesser favored Mega Man games, but by playing with you guys and kind of analyzing on the go like I tend to do when I play with you guys, I, I'll hope to find new things to like about it. I'm already kind of <laughs> liking new things about it just by talking about them out loud, I guess. I love that look for Vegas the Green. All right, we get the pretty traditional fire weapon. Wave Burner. Pretty much um, Flame Mammoth's weapon. Flame Wave? I don't know what it's called. Uh, from Mega Man X. But uh, it does move kind of up and down by itself, which is really nifty. And the, the abilities do look slightly different depending on if you're Mega Man or base, but they work identically. But there we go. That is it for today. Uh, we are playing Mega Man and base, the forgotten Mega Man game. Hooray! I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.